welcome back to my channel. I'm Auntie Tay. If you guys do not know who I am, that is who I am. I am here usually on Mondays. Sometimes we throw in a couple extra videos a week just for fun, um, but I am always here on Monday no matter what. All right, today I am so excited about this super fun DIY because I thought outside of the box for this one because whenever I get this weird crazy idea and then I realize it's gonna cost me so much money, I start thinking, how can I not spend so much money? Because now that I have this idea, I'm not gonna just not do it. So, if you guys can see behind me, I made one of my walls in my office space fur. There's a spot up here, this is a vent, and I have to figure out what to do with that. And apparently they don't make vent covers that size and decorative, and I can't block it because it's a return for whatever. Um, and now the vent is taking all of the video time and we're supposed to be talking about the fur wall. So just be known that that little vent is gonna be covered pretty soon with something cool and it may be a fun DIY. This wall right here is fur and when I went to go buy fur, fur is like $50 a yard for the really fun, cool fur. So even with a 50% off coupon, I would be paying $25 a yard and I needed four. And this is just a half size wall. So I was like, mm, no, I'm not going to pay that much to cover a wall in fur. So I actually thought outside of the box and thought what else could I use? And my mind went to fur blankets. And then my mind went to all of my favorite stores like Burlington, Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Tuesday morning. Those are my five favorites and I'm sticking to it unless I find another one, but those are my five favorites. So I went to Tuesday morning and found two blankets exactly the same fur. That's kind of important. You can do something fun if it's not, but it's important to have the same fur. Um, and then you'd probably need more than two blankets if you're doing a larger wall. So I would hunt for those. These were actually $25, which is a little bit higher than I wanted to pay, but I really just wanted to get it done. So I spent 50 bucks on this wall, but I think you could probably find blankets like this at Ross for probably 10 or $12, because I've seen them before, I've gotten them before. I use them a lot for photo shoots and stuff like that, and so um, I used it to cover. This is a renter friendly because you're not damaging the wall, and it's Re, it's re, redoable really easily. You can redo it pretty easy. So it's super easy to do this and not hurt your wall. So let's get going because I'm gonna show you actually how I did it now. All right, let's go. Alrighty, so I have this blank wall that had some fun stuff on it that I needed to cover up, but I also had to work around our thermostat. So I went to Tuesday morning and found two identical blankets. They were $25 each and together they were more than like four yards of fabric. So I could not have bought that um, without getting like $100 worth of fabric. Okay, so I found this little shelf that fit perfectly around my thermostat and I secretly think it's hiding it, but you can definitely see it. Um, I'm gonna still work on decorating this wall after the fur is up. So I just nailed the top of the blanket um, halfway across the top of the wall and then I started nailing down the side of the wall just to make sure that it was pulled nice and tight and then um, I didn't want to pull it too tight over the thermostat um, so I just nailed across the rest of the top and then I just cut like a little X in the fur and kind of molded it around um, and then I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with the light switch but I realized I could just leave the fabric loose right there and I could turn the like off and on just by hitting the fabric. And then I started on the next blanket and I just kind of nailed it right up against the other blanket and clip and teared the bottom. Um, so just find where you want it to end and then clip it and then when you rip it, it'll make a perfectly straight line and you won't have any messy fur um, just from where you clipped in the beginning. And this is a great tip for cutting fur. And then I just nailed it. Um, not all the way to the bottom because there's like a metal strip and then I just blended those two lines together with my hand by like swirling the fabrics together and then it was done and it was ready to decorate. Mm -hmm. 